Hi, I'm Alan, I'm 11 years old, I'm in 10th grade, and I'm a PA Cyber student. We knew at an early age that Alan was um, n not usual. He began reading very early in life. He, he just, he did things a little bit ahead of step. So we started looking around for some options at the time we were living um, right outside Chicago, Illinois. Uh, my husband is from Pennsylvania. PA Cyber drew us in. I, I couldn't be happier. We decided that, that Pennsylvania had the best opportunities and we actually went to the Harrisburg Family Favorites Festival up there. And all of the um, uh, schools, the cyber charters and the charter schools were had their booths there. The PA Cyber Group, and again I had researched it before I'd gotten there, but they were so friendly and they were so knowledgeable and obviously so much better established than any of the other schools. In the end, um, PA Cyber just won hands down. It became pretty clear that they were the only ones that were willing to accommodate Alan the way he needed to be accommodated. Most other schools would put me with my age rather than my grade. Um, and also, PA Cyber offers um, a very wide selection of courses. The attitude was, what can we do for him? What things, what things do we have in our arsenal that will be best for this, for this student to, 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 to help him out, to, to give him the education that he needs. So he's 11 years old now, and he's in 10th grade officially. He's doing 10th and 11th grade work. But with PA Cyber, none of the students really know his age. He turns in work and he gets a grade back. This is A work for a 10th grader, not this is A work for an 11 year old. So he doesn't feel like he's different. He's treated the same as the other students and he doesn't feel like he stands out unnecessarily. And he likes that part about it. There are a few students that are my age, but you can't tell how old someone is and they can't tell how old my uh, I am. And uh, I'm on the same intellectual level, so it really doesn't make a difference. Hi, I'm Alan and this is Daddy. Today we're at Fort Necessity, where we're going to learn two things that are going to surprise the heck out of you. PA Cyber, because it's flexible as to uh, when you do it, uh, we are able to do uh, stuff like these videos when we want to. You think that, oh, it's PA Cyber, that means the kid is closeted in some room up in his house and he can't get out, he's stuck to the computer all day long. There's nothing could be further from the truth because he was able to take his work with him and then we go and he get, can have a much richer experience. Run for your life, the dam's bursting! And it gave Alan a chance so he would research and learn about the stuff before we go there and help write the script and then we would get there and we would see it and then we would do it. That's what's wonderful too is that the videos that we make are educational. They're out there for other people to learn about. Mr. President, thank you for seeing me. I'm here to tell you that 25% of Americans... There's a very fine line, I think, between uh, a cyber school, a bricks and mortar school, and a home school. Um, and, you know, if you're looking for the flexibility, but you're willing to put in the work, that, you, uh, you know, I would encourage you to do it. PA Cyber is a real school with real teachers and real curriculum that you have to study and work on in a real way. But ultimately, it's got to be the student and the parents that are motivated to make the thing go and to make it happen. And so you've, you've got to be prepared to make that commitment. 